station that the other stations are tuned in to. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Louis Michelson at Business Talk Radio, and we have a spectacular guest speaker on today from Boulder, Colorado. She's an intuitive spiritual teacher, and she's so much more than that, Amy Satori. How are we doing, Amy? Hey, everybody. <laughs> um, I, okay, so I thought I would mention this real quick. If you guys ever um, want to know the number for the show, because sometimes it's changed. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes it changes. Um, always go into my most recent videos and look underneath in the description of my video on YouTube. And I've got the information in there as to the times, the number, and everything. And you could program it in your phone so that you always have it and you're able to call the show because today my Internet is not working. It hasn't worked for hours. And I got cut off from a friend of mine <laughs> across the country. And I know she's probably panicking right now. but um, So you guys have that number in your phone, so you've always got it just in case the Internet goes down or anything like that. And you could put you know, have my regular phone number on there as well. So this is a, a good reminder that we're a little bit too reliant on our on our internet. Um, so, Louis, what is that number? Yeah, what's that number? Six three one five six nine four five seven six. And the reason so why the number changes is because uh, they keep changing providers. Oh. Uh. Uh, um, it really, it really uh, sort of. Like my phone that I've always used, that I always use every day, um, I used to be able to call internationally. But now I can't. I, and we get a lot of people from internationally, so I either got to Skype them or Zoom them. So I, Interesting. I can't call them. They can call here, but I can't call there. So it's Very really interesting. Weird. I mean, we're a huge radio station, and I mean, some of the things that are done are, are just silly as far as I'm concerned, but you know what? <laughs> I'm only the host. There's a, there are a lot of silly things in life. <laughs> oh yeah, that's for sure. Unbelievable. So, so right. I didn't I didn't get um I didn't get to post this morning on Instagram letting everybody know the number and I didn't I usually remind them um, early Monday mornings of the number and what's going on today. I may not even be able to do the live, you guys. So if I if you're getting this now then I probably, and you, and you didn't catch the live, that means that it's going to be moved to Tuesday morning at 11.11 11 Mountain Time, which is 10.11 uh, Pacific and 1.11 for you Easterners, Eastern Timers. Um, so I will, if you, if you send your payment and your note to PayPal, because I usually, after the show, go over to YouTube Live and I answer people's questions for $11, a personal question, or they could ask a general question for the collective um, for free. But um, if you send your money because you're anticipating I'm going to be live today and then you see that I don't show up, then we will resume Tuesday morning. Otherwise, I will you know, try to get on for as much time as I can today and maybe extend it to tomorrow also. So I'm not sure we're going to get any callers today without any reminders like that. <laughs> We'll see. Well, we got the number out there now, so anybody that's listening, 631-569-4576. Give us a call. Ask Amy a question. Don't ask me a question because I can't help you. But Amy <laughs> can definitely help you. Well, and I, you know, just I, might heard... an, I might have an opinion, but then again, everybody has an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I may as well, um, for some of you who are maybe hesitant to call but they're hearing this, I can explain kind of what I do and what people come to me for. Um, basically, I'm kind of a jack of all trades, but I use my intuition for everything. And when you come sit before me or call, then I can talk to your guides. I'm also a medium, so I can channel people, channel things. Um, if you want to talk to your guides or somebody who's passed away or a pet that's passed away, I can communicate with those things as well as even inanimate objects. 
Um, I know that sounds strange, but sometimes, like, I've seen houses be upset about what's going on inside the house, and they need a talking to sometimes. Um, so I'm also a healer. Um, I used Qigong energy healing. It was the modality that I learned, but I kind of made it into my own thing. I do practice Qigong. And so I'm able to actually scan your energy field and look for any kind of blockage. Um, ailments tend to be energetic first, and then they go to the physical body. So I find out what the energetic, energetic components are that are causing the ailments that you have. And or your spirit guides, sometimes if people just want their body scanned, then your spirit guides will just give me information about what's going on in your life and what you need help with, and I feel into solutions for you. Even if you're, like, not getting along really great with somebody or uh, you, you're having a tough time setting boundaries or communicating well with your spouse, anything like that, I'll feel intuitively into the best of advice that I can give you. And I can tell you all about your husband or your wife or your kids or anybody that you're estranged from. But my specialty is true love because I do believe in true love. And there is there tends to be kind of a pattern that happens. You guys can look at my video on YouTube. Um, it's called The Different Types of True Love. And then put in my, na- my name, Amy Satori, S-A-T-O-R-I. And you can learn all the different types um, that I found. Um, and basically, it's just such a wonky thing. It's very much like a romantic comedy. Usually, you haven't talked to the... You, you know, you just had some kind of incredible connection with somebody, even if you've never met them yet. You have this amazing connection. All these signs and synchronicity start happening, and you feel like you're going crazy because it's like, why do I believe in this thing when the guy's not even talking to me or the girl's not even talking to me? Um, and then it's confusing. So you need somebody like me to help you navigate it and let you know what's going on behind the scenes, which is usually that there's somebody running away from love and there's somebody embracing it and wanting it. Um, And until those two come into more balance, if he stops running and she stops chasing, then they can can come to kind of a truce, kind of a balance where they can give the relationship a shot. And they start believing in themselves and they start seeing themselves as worthy of this type of love. And then, um, you know, then it's it's all about, it's like a journey to authenticity and a journey into self-empowerment, really, because you love this person so much that you just want to work on yourself. And whether you end up with them or not, it still is incredibly transforming for you to have that person come across your path. And um, it's just a really beautiful thing for everybody. So if you have any kind of question, I mean, I have, um, gosh, I have actors, producers, uh, authors, uh, Nobel Peace Prize winners, golfers, like you name it. Um, and they, I have people come into me asking, you know, how do I tweak my book? How do I make it better? I'm just about finished with it. I'm sending it to the publisher. So let me know, like, anything I need to change. And I'll let them know if they're making songs. I can help with that. I can help them um, with their cast and crew. I can help them with basically any any. Any job, anything that you do, I've even, you know, obviously dealt with, like, you know, secretaries, executive directors, and and things like that. I used to be in the corporate world myself, too. So the guides are able to use my vast experience in all these different areas um, and being a positive reinforcement animal trainer. And they use all of my experience from all these different things I've gone through in my life and all the trauma I've been through um, to help you guys. So I've got lots of different resources I give you, and um, I just basically ask your guides and, and my guides together. They all work together. And, I, and as you're asking me questions, I get images, and I get feelings, and I get like little flashes that are kind of like memories. Um, I see colors. I see shapes. There's so many different things that happen as you tell your story to me, and then I have to translate that information that I'm getting intuitively to give you advice or let you know what's kind of coming across. So like I said, kind of a jack of all trades. (laughs) Very good. Oh, and I slight language. And I should explain light language, I suppose. Um, Light language is like the first original language we could speak from our soul. It's like soul speak. Um, it's something that you can do naturally if you practice. It's not like learning a language like in other ways where it's spelled out or anything like that. 
it's just something that starts to kind of pour out of you. Um, and it's, it's just like, it's kind of like the language of the Holy Spirit, really. And as it comes through you, it's an energy that transforms those who listen. So my voice has delta waves even. And as you're listening to me, you're actually becoming more intuitive, believe it or not. Louie, you're going to be like <laughs> very intuitive in time. <laughs> and it, it puts you in a relaxed state, um, you know, but it definitely helps you with your own skills and abilities, even just to, to listen to me. But if when I speak the light language, and I'll do that for you guys in just a moment, um, but when I speak the light language, it, it actually can do anything that you intend for it to do, and I always use it for good. Um, so you can extend, it's like an amplifier, an energy amplifier, and I feel it's based on purity. Um, I don't know if people use it for bad, but I can't imagine, so I would never do that. But um, basically, if you just think about your body being healed while you're listening to it, or you think about, you know, getting help for selling your house, or you think about, like, even making contact with extraterrestrials or anything really cool you want to do that's, that's benevolent, then meaning it's good-hearted or pure-hearted or, you know, just um, benefiting, benefiting people or things or whatever, then you can channel, you can listen to my light language, and I do custom light languages for people for different reasons and intentions, but um, you, you listen to that on a regular basis, then it starts to transform the situation that you're intending. So it's really super powerful. And usually when you listen to it, you might get tingles all throughout your body or you could just feel more calm. It depends on how aware you are. Um, or, I mean, some people, <laughs> I, did, I did the light language one time for this gal that was across from me, and I just had started doing it. So I wasn't really knowledgeable about how powerful it could be. And the woman, when I looked up, she was kind of trembling, and her eyes were closed, and she held up her finger like, give me a minute, you know? And so I waited, and I waited, and I watched. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I hope she's okay. I hope I didn't hurt her or something by speaking that language, you know. And she opens her eyes, and she looked at me. She goes, I don't know what that was, but I just had a full-body orgasm from it. She said it started in her tailbone, and it went up her entire spine and shot through her head. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen, like, happen to somebody as they were listening to it. But, and that's, kund, that's called kundalini for those of you who don't know. And it's, it's a very healing energy. It's really good for you. So, yeah, it's pretty powerful stuff. So if everybody just wants to just like take a deep breath and relax for a moment, think about something that you would like resolved or something you would like healed or, or maybe you're asking for more confidence or courage or anything like that to talk to the person that you love or, you know, you could use it for anything that you need help with. If you want to have a more abundant mind, mindset to bring in some more opportunities and things like that, just focus on that for a moment. Hi, mama ke nsala esa se kiri nate. Hala shiki e ma popo mamai. Hala shiki tsinsi. Hala nate ke lupu mamai nate. Hala shi na popo apo na dace. Hala kiti na tae la krisi sense. He e la mama ka mama ena. Hala ensa sa sa ndaika. Hala shiki tse. Ha a mama mama ke. Ha e la na dai. Shiki e tse. Hala e na po mama ena. Ha e la kiri na tse. Shu mama mai na tse la kiri sa. He e na na te ki. Shikukuma mama ke na tse. Hala e na tse. Shiki e sa. Okay, well, that gave me chills. <laughs> it feels good for me to do, too. Good. That's what it's good for do. Yeah. You know, you gotta, How you are gotta, you doing? I'm all right, you know. How's your, how's your body? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's the same. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm okay because, uh, you know, I sit all day and uh, I don't have much, I don't, I don't have, you know, I... Like I say, I, I work out with my arms, and I try to do upper body stuff. Um, I probably should be working on my legs, but it just, uh, it's like, uh, it, it's sort of like, 
I'm not motivated enough, and it's uh, you know because I don't know, you know, I get mm-hmm. by with what 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 I can do, and you know if if I need my son to help me or my wife to help me, they both do. Um, can you stand up? You can stand up and walk, right? Yeah, I mean I can, but not far, and I can't stand very long. I have to be able okay. to touch something because I have no balance anymore. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, as long as like my fingers on the wall. I'm okay, but, uh, you know, like okay. even going out to the mailbox. So I'd say it's, uh, you know, like 15 yards away from my front door. If I got my cane, I can do it. But if I go without the cane, uh, it's it's not worth it for me. And it's scary because, you know, I don't want to fall down. Right. And that fear can be such a grip on us, too. Um. It's it's really important when you're healing to believe that things can be different, you know, because we're, when we're in that fear space, we create more of it. So, um, let me. I want to do a blessing for you, but also, have you ever have you ever considered doing qigong at home? Um, you can you even. I... Well, I was going to say you can. I have a DVD that I can I can say it's in my resources page on my website, but I can send it to you. I mean, I can send you the link and stuff on where to get it. But it's like a 15-minute routine that you can do. And if you're not able to actually do the exercise, you can just imagine it, and it'll still work on you. You just imagine that you're doing the exercise. I actually have a Qigong master that I talk to every week. Oh. She's uh, um, she's the New York State. uh, uh, She's actually, she has a Qigong uh, academy. Oh, cool. Okay. Good. Um, All right. So let me let me do a blessing on you, and we'll and we're just going to check on you on a regular basis. Sounds good to okay. me. Okay. The first thing that I got before I even started working on you is anger. That you, there are some things. I know you're such a sweetheart. You're such a good guy. But what happens is you kind of stuff anything that you're angry about. Um, but they they you need to get out that anger. You need to validate your feelings. Let's just say that. You need to be able to do that for yourself. Um, one, right that, Amy. Okay. Uh, one, I know this is going to sound really crazy, like a thing to do, but, you know, everybody's everybody's at home right now, and they probably would hear you if you did some kind of loud screaming thing or something. But here's a, quiet, a quieter way to do, to get out your anger in terms of like a physical release. Um, buy a dozen eggs and go in the bathroom and throw the eggs in the shower, and then that and then you can wash it off. But like, get really angry. Make obviously wait till everybody's gone, but get really angry and then start throwing those eggs. It may take a few dozen, I suppose, but <laughs> um, so that's one way that you can do it if you feel like you need to do something physical, um, and then you can't really go anywhere. The other is to do the exercise that I call thank you, God, for my misery. And you don't have to use the word God. You could say spirit or whatever you want to. Don't get hung up on details. But um, get out a piece of paper, and at the top of the piece of paper, you're going to write down something that you don't like about your life or something you're angry about, or it could be past, present, future, whatever. You write it down, and you say, thank you, God, you know, that I was raped when I was younger, or thank you, God, that somebody took all my money, or thank you, God, that whatever it is. And don't worry, you're not, it's the law of attraction, does, it works on vibration, not necessarily the words that you're using. So being grateful for something bad is not going to create something bad. And uh, so what you do, though, is you write down all of the at least 10 to 15 advantages or benefits as to why that thing is actually a good thing. And if you can do that exercise back to back to back to back, it's for like 45 minutes to an hour, it's incredibly transformative. And it helps you to realize that you never have been a victim, that the things that, have, that are bad that have happened to you have all happened for a reason, and that your higher self put, it, put you through all of it to make you stronger and to make you more of an asset, not to make you weaker or to make you like paralyzed with fear or guilt or any of that. It has actually been to empower you all along. And until you do the exercise, you don't realize that. And it's important that you write it down so because you really take the you take the time and the effort to actually 
think it through and reach into places in your mind that you normally wouldn't go if you were just kind of um, just telling yourself, oh, just be positive and let it go. You can't, that won't work. Write the, the exercise down. I do have it also on my YouTube channel. You guys could look that up and say, thank you, God, for my misery exercise, and instructions will come up. And I did a, like a half-hour video on it one time that goes into more detail. Okay. So let's work on you, and we're going to see what else comes up. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, it's like it feels like, kind of like a refusal energy. It's like energetically you've got your arms crossed and you're kind of pissed off, and you're like, I refuse to move forward. I'm not going forward. I'm not going where you want me to go. I'm not going there. And it's until you get what you want, until until something turns to your favor, it kind of feels like, You've been giving in to things that, that really don't make you very happy. So maybe some people pleasing going on there. Um, so you need to start looking out for yourself. You need to start, like, thinking about some things you want to do, maybe some hobbies and interests or things that, you know, that are kind of against, uh, maybe not even necessarily against the grain, but stuff that you want to do that, that you're just going to do just for you, just because. Um, so let me speak the language. Hang on. Hi, mama, ma kinsa. Hela shikitsin sela. Okay, so a part of, so I know we're kind of going deep in front of all these people, but <laughs> it's also talking about, um, when I say it, I mean like I, it's just like a body of, of spirit, your guides and mine all working together. So it's kind of like it or they or something like that for me. But they said something about how um, it's almost like if so many people feel this, if I'm truly myself, I'm not, not going to be loved for who I am. If I go to do those things that I want or if I do these hobbies and interests or I do these you know, things that are kind of against the grain, I'm not going to be loved anymore for who I truly am. But you love you. And the amazing thing about being authentic and being yourself is that when you go ahead and put your neck out there and you do that, People love it because we're like, we're made by the creator to be our authentic selves. And when we line up with that energy, it just exudes this beautiful fragrance to everyone who sees it. And they're just in awe. So if you think they liked you before for fake reasons or whatever, you know, or for because you were doing what they wanted or whatever, it's like when you do step into your power and you exude this happiness from the joy that it brings to just be you, um, it, you know, if you think you had that, that kind of the, the approval of others before, you really have um, some incredible power when you step into your authenticity and go ahead and get lots of, of people like saying, holy cow, your light is so bright, it's so beautiful, and all of that will happen, and it's, because they actually love who you truly are, not who you're pretending to be too. Not that you're pretending to be anybody. I'm just, now I'm talking to the general public, um, what tends to happen. Okay, so hang on. Hey, mom, okay, interesting. Hey, lucky day, Tante. Hey, thank you, Chink. Yeah, you're like, I need a break. I just want to sit on my butt, because I need a break. <laughs> I'm doing and doing and doing for everybody. When's my turn? been my turn for a long time you know yeah and i uh i mean i always work my butt off always i mean mm. <clears throat> wow yeah it's your turn it's your turn you got to do for you so i was just assuring your body letting it know you know that you can give back you can you can give back to yourself now. It can be your turn, and you don't have to sit on your butt for that. You know what I mean? Like, you can just decide, I am going to do X, Y, Z, period, end of story. It is me time. And do it walking. And do it going somewhere, going fishing, or, you know, doing doing something that you want to do. But you can do it being physical. It's really funny how what happens is our bodies start to really listen to us and the things that we're saying in our heads. And if you can imagine, if you're, if you're like, when is it my turn? When is it my turn? I'm just going to you know, sit here with my arms crossed and, and just be like, I'm just going to sit here and take a time out until 
somebody tells me I can just go do what I want. And, you know, and you're, and it's like kind of taking a stance and you're just sitting there and you're just like, gosh, when is it my turn? Well, if you do that long enough, your body starts to listen to it and it's like, oh, well, we're just going to sit here. You know, we're just going to sit here and wait for that to happen, right? So your body literally made your body turn into that. You do for me. I'm tired of it. You do for me. So that's what you got. I do. Now you like have to my, like. My wife and my son do a lot for me. I really. Oh, that's great. And I do a oh, lot good. for them. Good. That's good. But something you've been telling your body has made you just want to sit there and cross your arms. Yeah. So, um, just think about what we've talked about. And ponder it for a little bit and see some things that you might actually be willing to do for yourself. Well, that sounds good to me, Amy. And talk to your body, too. Like, your body totally listens. It's like a million little cells. Imagine them all being little happy faces in your legs. And I know that that sounds like it wouldn't do anything, but I promise you, if you believe me, and, you know, and you know, you've probably seen a lot of the things that I've been able to do for people, But imagine talking to your legs like they're kids. Hey, kids, all right, time to get, time, time to get going again. We're going to be strong. We're going to go out. We're going to take walks. We're going to be stable. We don't need a cane. Let's just get, get working again. And then you can even show your body, which I just did with the light language just now. I showed your body the feeling of strength and flexibility and, and like, uh, lubricated, you know, like let's just move fluidly, smoothly, easily, float up those stairs, float to the mailbox, you know, like really easy. I just showed your legs. Um, I, I, gave, I suggested a, a way that they could decide to take on if they want, you know, but you have to be in agreement as well. You have to have the same um, kind of vision for your legs, and they will start acting accordingly. Just like a little five-year-old would. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, maybe that will get me motivated. Who knows? <laughs> All right, let's give out your information on how to get in touch with you. Okay, you just go to amysatori.com, um, or you can put in Amy Satori in YouTube, or you can go to Instagram forward slash Amy Satori. And uh, I, I would say meet me at the live, but I don't know if my internet, nope, my, my internet's still not working. So it looks like I'll talk to you guys live on Tuesday if you want to join me then. All right, have a beautiful day, everybody. Everybody out there, Amy Satori. AmySatori.com, go on our website. I tell you to go to YouTube right now, but her internet's down and she can't do it, but who knows? Maybe she'll say something good and... Boom, it'll go right back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. This is Louie Michelson at Business Talk Radio. Don't leave us. We'll be right back. We have been talking to the wonderful, and I mean she is wonderful, Amy Satori. AmySatori.com. Get a hold of her. Ask her a question. She has all the answers. Don't leave us. We will be right back. Great job, Amy. Thank you. Wow, that that was meant to be. <laughs> yeah. I guess you needed that today. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Wow. Well, uh, report back and let me know how you're doing. I will. I always will. Thank you very much. Thank you right, for helping me every week. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. you're welcome. Okay, bye.